Now we deal with a new topic called causal signal processing. Yeah, so the causal signal processing. So what is that? So let's start with the motivation for that. Now our motivation is the problem with the Fourier transform. So the problem with the Fourier transform transform is that it is not real time. Not real not real time. So what does it mean? So it means that we need the whole sequence from the first to the last sample to determine the frequency spectrum. So what we need is, imagine here this is our signal, and this goes from n to n minus 1 in the DFT. So we need the whole signal, and then only we can do a fast Fourier transform and get our spectrum out of this. So there are obviously many applications which require real-time processing. Applications which require real time processing. Real time processing. So, this is the proper G, real time processing. So, for example, let's just start with something really dramatic. For example, the airbag in your car. Yeah. So you would like to have instant response. However, if you think of the Fourier transform, so the Fourier transform needs the whole signal from zero to one. Yeah. So imagine. There's our bang here, and then this goes further here, and we're doing a Fourier transform of that, so we need to wait for into the until the last sample has come in. Wait for the last sample. Obviously at this point the um, car has already crashed into something and it's too late. where obviously if we are analyzing for example an ECG or other biosignals we would like to have an instant reading of this. It can be obviously also quite dramatic if this is really a life-threatening situation and we would like to have a instant reading of the signal for example here in the ECG case. Then Obviously, in the consumer applications, we have got music players. Or video players. Which require instant response or also obviously also broadcast equipment. So if you have a television receiver, for example, TV, 
you would like to have an instant response for that. So essentially then, causal signal processing Causal signal processing is processing processing with minimal delay while while the signal comes in. Obviously, classical example, or if you think of an analog circuit, this is obviously always doing real-time processing. Yeah, so our analog circuit here is like a analog low-pass filter. The analog low-pass filter is. Um, always, always real-time. So what we want to have is essentially now in DSP, in digital signal processing, a similar approach. We have a box and we send in a signal so that we send something in here and we're getting something out there and this is happening instantaneously. 